Adina Brownfield is a five-year-old girl who was living in Surreal, Oklahoma with her little sister, Athena, and their caretakers, Alicia Adams and Ivan Adams. They have been living with their caretakers for almost two years. Their biological parents could not take care of them. So about two years ago, their biological parents brought them to Alicia and Ivan. Alicia is related to the biological parents of Athena and Adina. On January 10th, 2023, Adina was spotted outside her home close to the highway by a mail carrier. This postal worker, when she noticed Adina, she decided to go up to Adina and ask where her parents were. Adina pointed her to where her house was and told her that she didn't know where her parents were, but that she was actually looking for her little sister. She told the mail carrier that she had been home alone for several days. She was scared. She was tired of being home alone. She was looking for her sister and she was hungry. The mail carrier immediately called the police. The police got in touch with the owner of the home who then told the police that they rented the property to Alicia and Ivan Adams. The police then contacted Alicia, who told them that she had no idea why Adina was home alone. She told them that her husband Ivan was supposed to have all the children. Alicia and Ivan had four biological children together. In the past two years, they've been taking care of Adina and Athena. Alicia's story was she was out of town and her husband Ivan was supposed to have all the children. When law enforcement officers told her that they had actually found Adina outside the house alone, Alicia reportedly asked, well, where was Athena? At that point, law enforcement agents realized that Athena was missing. Now, because Adina was home alone, they did arrest Alicia Adams and they charged her with two counts of child neglect. When she was first arrested, she stuck to her story that the children were supposed to be with her husband. Her husband, was gone to Arizona with the other children to go to her dad's house. Local news stations started reporting that there was a four-year-old missing in Surreal, Oklahoma. Alicia ultimately told the police when she was interrogated a second time that Athena was dead, that on the night of December 25th, her husband, Ivan Adams, took the life of four-year-old Athena. Now, she gives no reason as to why Ivan killed Athena. She only says in her statement that on the night of December 25th, that Ivan beat Athena to death. And then on the early morning hours of December 26th, he took her body to where they used to live and buried her. Alicia and Ivan have been living in the home in Surreal for about six to eight months. But before that, they lived in another house who was owned by a family friend. They had lived there for several years. That house came with a lot of property. According to Alicia, Ivan buried Athena on this property. When Ivan was finally found in Arizona, he was arrested and he was charged with one count of murder in the first degree and one count of child neglect. News of this case was spreading like wildfire. It was on media outlets. It was on different YouTube channels. Everyone was covering this story. Things about this story just did not make sense. Alicia and Ivan seemed happy. In earlier photos in early December, going back to September, going back to 2015. You could see photos on Alicia and Ivan's Facebook page, their social media pages of them happy and love, of their children. Now, what you didn't see is any photos of Athena or Adina on either one of their social media pages. At first, people just thought, well, maybe that was an agreement that because she had the kids, maybe they were foster kids, she couldn't post photos of them. Eventually, we found out that that was not the case that there was no court documents in place. They were not foster kids. They were just two children that she was taking care of for a family member. And while she and Ivan never posted photos of Adina or Athena, Alicia's mom, she did. She would post photos here and there when she was keeping her grandkids. And Alicia's mom did refer to Adina and Athena as her grandkids. It seemed like the couple had a great life. It seemed like they were happy. So what went wrong? While on December 25th, was this little girl taken? Why was she brutally murdered? Upon looking through their social media accounts a little bit further, we realized that Alicia and Ivan were no longer together. That even though they were together on Christmas, they seemed really happy over the past few years, they were even together on December 30th. They were out on a date night and Alicia's mom had the kids. But on January 7th and 8th, Alicia was with her new boyfriend in Oklahoma City, about an hour away from her house, enjoying a date night, movies, a nice dinner. 
And according to her Facebook post, she was happier than she's ever been. This is just a week after her and her husband was out on a date night. This is just 12 days after Athena was allegedly killed. Looking through Alicia's social media pages, you see on the days after Athena was allegedly killed, Alicia, the lady that was supposed to take care of her, is going to the nail salon, showing off her new nails, is going to the hair salon, getting her hair done. She's going out on dates. She's posting things about how happy she is. Nothing about this sits right. What's even more concerning is on December 30th, just four days after her husband allegedly buried a little girl that she was supposed to take care of, her and her husband went out on a date. Alicia and Ivan, just a few days after Athena's brutal death, went on a date to a place called The Dinner Detective. This is a murder mystery themed dinner where you can book for private events, private shows. You go with your friends where you sit down for dinner and in the middle of the dinner, the lights go off and someone disappears. And throughout the rest of the evening, you have to figure out who's the killer. Now imagine this. Imagine just days before this, Alicia witnesses her husband beat this four-year-old, kills her, and he takes her and buries her. And the days after that, they act like everything is fine. And the two participate in a murder mystery dinner. On the website for The Dinner Detective, it says, America's largest interactive comedy murder mystery dinner theater show is now playing. Solve a hilarious mystery while you feast on a fantastic dinner. Just beware. The culprit is hiding in plain sight somewhere in the room. You may find yourself as a prime suspect before you know it. At this point, we still don't know what really happened to Athena. We're just taking Alicia's word that Ivan was the one that took her life. We're taking Alicia's word that Ivan beat her on Christmas night and then buried her. I find it ironic that Alicia went on about her life like everything was fine. I find it ironic that Alicia planned for them to go to a dinner detective, a murder mystery themed party, just days after allegedly her husband killed Athena. I find it ironic that just days after this, Alicia allegedly told her husband that she wanted a divorce. And within just a week of them going to this murder mystery dinner, she was back in Oklahoma City with her new boyfriend, going out on dates and having the time of her life. Let me be clear in saying this, I do not think Ivan is innocent. I think Ivan knows what happened, but I definitely think Alicia was the one that killed Athena. Now that's just my personal opinion. Put yourself in their shoes. Say your husband just flips out and kills someone, kills one of your children. Are you gonna be going to a murder mystery dinner with him just four days after he buries the body? Are you gonna let him leave the state with your four children? Are you gonna be going and getting your nails done, your hair done? Are you gonna call the cops? Most people would call the cops. So many things about this situation doesn't make sense. But in my opinion, the one that's acting the most guilty is Alicia. There's a lot of rumors going around that Alicia has cheated on Ivan time and time again throughout their marriage and that Ivan would always, always, always take her back. People have stated that Ivan would do anything for her. But I think it says a lot that Ivan took their children and left the state to Arizona. Now, also my belief that the reason he took the kids to Alicia's father is because he knew about what happened and he was worried that they would both be arrested and he wanted the kids to be with family if they were in fact arrested. After Ivan was arrested in Arizona, when he went before the judge, the judge gave him the opportunity to be extradited or to have a hearing for extradition. Ivan waived his right to an extradition hearing saying he needed to be extradited as soon as possible so he could get back to Oklahoma to fight this. Ivan arrived back in Oklahoma today on the 20th, where he was in court again. The judge said no bail and placed a gag order. You guys tell me your thoughts. Do you guys believe that Ivan was the one that took Athena's life? I think it's super strange how Ivan and Alicia went out on December 30th just five days after, according to Alicia, he killed a four-year-old that called Alicia mom. According to Adina, 
They called Alicia mom or Allie, and they called Ivan daddy or Uncle Ivan. So according to Alicia, she saw him kill this little four-year-old that called her mom. But she went out with him just a few days later to a murder mystery dinner party. She was getting her nails done, her hair done, acting like everything was okay. There are theories out there, you guys, that Ivan may have found out that Alicia was cheating on him, got the kids, and left. And then after he left, something happened to Athena. If that is the case, then that would mean maybe Ivan doesn't know about anything. Maybe he didn't know that Athena was killed. Now, there are things that contradict that. On January 17th, exactly a week after Adina was found and Athena was reported missing, law enforcement agents did find child remains on the property where Ivan and Alicia used to live. We have yet to get confirmation if those remains are that of four-year-old Athena Brownfield. I think we can all speculate that it is, but we haven't gotten solid confirmation. Now, one thing that we can't dispute is according to law enforcement agents, they have said that Ivan's cell phone did ping near that location where the child's remains were found on December 26th, around four o'clock in the morning. There are theories that maybe Alicia killed Athena herself and took Ivan's phone with her to go bury the body. That way, she could ultimately pin this on Ivan. I don't know, you guys. I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. One thing that was really mind-blowing to me is the fact that Ivan and Alicia attended this murder mystery dinner just five days after Athena was killed by one of them. That doesn't sit well with me. This whole thing is a sad, heartbreaking story. There are evil people in this world, and whoever took Athena is evil. And from what we know, it was either Ivan or Alicia, and both of them attended the murder mystery dinner. And that, in my opinion, is just sick. You guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm going to continue to keep up with this situation. Any news that comes out, I'll be here to let you guys know. Um, we are waiting for them to identify the remains of the child that was found on the property. And like I said, while obviously it would seem that it would be Athena's remains, we have not got confirmation from the medical examiner. So when we do get that confirmation, I'll be quick to hop on here and let you guys know. I'm going to continue to follow this story. You guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Does it make sense that I won't be the one to take Athena's life? He left the state. He took his four children and went to Arizona. But Allie, she stayed there. She left Adina home alone. That's not a question. We know that. What we don't know is who killed Athena. You guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel to continue following the story. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.